After six and a half years as superintendent, Dr. Jesus Chara is out at CCSD, but he's not leaving empty handed. The board of trustees accepted his resignation earlier tonight and appointed a temporary replacement, although not everybody's on board. A News Now education reporter Joshua Peguero joins us now live with more details. Joshua. Brian Denise, Dr. Jesus Jara is leaving with a $250,000 check as the Board of Trustees accepted his resignation. The focus now turns to finding a new superintendent amid poor academics, low teacher morale, and student violence. A termination for convenience under the existing terms of the superintendent's employment agreement would have obligated the board to compensate the superintendent for the remainder of his agreement, which amounts to approximately just under $1 million. Instead, the board and JAR reached a negotiation of a $250,000 exit package, which drew the ire of several teachers and parents. Allowing him to resign and giving him a quarter million dollars is not an acceptable outcome. Do you know what I got after 25 years to this district. Do you know what I got? I had glowing teaching evaluations, a track record of high student achievement, and no lawsuits against me. Do you know what I got? Nothing. Despite the pleas, the board voted 5-2 to two in separating from JAR with pay. It ends a 10-year on the heels of a state and federal investigation launched after our reporting into the district using COVID relief funds to send staff on recruitment trips to Miami and Hawaii. Trustee Lisa Guzman defended the deal. I also want um, people to understand if they read the contract and they read... Um, and, and saw what what was going to occur, that we would be um, spending over a million dollars. After much debate, the board voted five to two to appoint Brenda Larson Mitchell as interim superintendent. The Clark County Teachers Union is calling on an immediate nationwide search. CCA's president says the process needs to be transparent. I think we need to have a superintendent that has qualifications that would lead this district in the right direction. Now, the Vegas Chamber of Commerce also came out urging the trustees to do a nationwide search. Now, Jara's last day in that building in its top floor office is tomorrow. Reporting live to Saharan Decatur, Joshua Peguero, 8 News Now.